Hello, welcome to Stark State College. I'm Para Jones, president of the college, and it is my distinct honor to be the first person to welcome you to our Jumpstart event. Jumpstart is all about student success, preparing you for the in, with the information you need to be successful here at Stark State College and in, co in the college environment. So I encourage you to take advantage of all of the experts and the expert information you will hear today. You'll hear about navigating college finances, navigating college courses, managing your time, study skills, a lot of very, very important information that will really help you as you begin and continue and complete and graduate from Stark State College. Again, I welcome you to Stark State College. Today is the first day in many days that you will spend with us. I encourage you to ask questions today and to ask questions in the future. Every one of us here at Stark State is here for you and your success, but you are the most critical factor in your own success. We're here to support that. Thank you for being here. You've taken the very first critical step and that's the important step. Here on out, I know you will have a very successful academic experience at Stark State and a very successful future. Thank you and best wishes for a great semester. Thank you, Dr. Jones, for that great welcome. Good morning. I am Dr. Federia nicholson Swivel. I'm the Dean of Student Success at Stark State College. Welcome to Jumpstart. We are so excited about your journey as a new Stark Stater. You have made a great choice in selecting Stark State College, and today we are going to help you jumpstart your semester. In addition to the many academic programs we offer here, today you will be provided with tools and strategies that will build upon what you learned in new student orientation that will set the stage for a successful academic year. Today you will learn about the five habits of a highly successful student, these are habits that are important for you to adopt to ensure that you maximize your experience here at Stark State College, both inside and outside of the classroom. You will also have the opportunity to hear from several students throughout the program today. We have three short breakout sessions on the top 10 things to know about taking online courses. This session will provide you with strategies that will help you succeed when taking an online course at Stark State College. Second, jumpstart your future career confidence. In this session, you will learn about the tools and the resources and individualized support that will be available to you through our Office of Career Services. And our last breakout session, Six Weeks to Student Success, will help you set the stage for your entire semester. This session will help you start your semester strong and to provide you with information about great campus resources. So you'll have an opportunity also to ask our presenters questions after each session. And after our final breakout session today, Dr. Leda Gibson Shreve, our Vice President of Academic Affairs will provide final remarks. I want to remind you, please don't forget to complete your evaluation, which you can find on the Jumpstart website. Completing the evaluation will enter your name into a drawing to win a free laptop. Good luck. Welcome to Stark State College. My name is Sherry Brooks and I'm the coordinator of Student Life and Recreation. Today we're going to explore the five habits of highly successful students. Your first day of the semester begins soon, so let's jump in and get started. The first habit of a highly successful student is the ability to set realistic goals and establish priorities. You're off to a good start because you made today a priority and you're here. Each of you are coming to Stark State for a reason. You may have a goal to receive an associate's degree or a certificate. Perhaps you plan to transfer after Stark State to a university for your bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree. Whatever your goal, we're glad you're here. Going to college is an investment in you and your future. Each of you most likely have busy and full lives already. Now you're adding school into that fullness. So it's important to set realistic goals and establish priorities 
before your first day of class. Let's hear from recent successful Stark State graduate, Leonte Cooper, on how he has set goals and achieved them. Welcome to Jumpstart. I'm so glad that you're getting ready to start at Stark State College. I too was once in your seat. My name is Cooper and I'm a student at OSU and an alumni, proud alumni of Stark State College. I wanna to talk to you today about the highly effective habits of setting realistic goals and establishing your priorities. I can knock these both out very, very easily for you. Remember, I too went to Stark State and I know what it's like to be in your position right now. You're probably wondering all of these questions about what your year is gonna look like and how you're gonna prioritize everything. If you follow this steps by step, I can tell you that it worked out perfectly for me. So you want to write down your goals and I mean it. Take out a piece of paper and take out a pen and write down your goals. I don't care how long it takes. It might take you longer than an hour. It might take you longer than a day to write down what you really want and to really think it through. However long it takes, it's worth writing it down. Be as detailed as possible. Remember, these goals are important to you. This is what you want to get done while you're at Stark State College. So while I was at Stark State, I hung my goals on the bathroom wall. And the reason why I, I did that is because it reminded me every day when I woke up and reminded me every day before I went to bed of what it was that I need to accomplish and what was important to me. That's how you make your goals a priority. And just to add the icing on the cake, I'm gonna show you my goals. These are my goals for the summer. They're written in detail, they're written clear. I know exactly what it is that I wanna achieve and exactly how I'm gonna do it. If you wanna take it a step further, which I found extremely helpful, write down weekly goals to follow up on the goals that you put for the entire year, semester, or whatever it is. Keep these in your pocket with a pen and scratch them off as you do them. And I guarantee before you know it, you'll be writing new goals. So good luck to you, and I know that you too will be an alumni at Stark State. In addition to your goal, it's important to establish your priorities. Let's watch a quick video on a story of why it's important to identify your priorities. There's a well-known story about a university professor who wanted to make a point about how we make the most of our time. The professor stood before his class with some items in front of him. When the class began, without speaking, he picked up a large, empty jar and proceeded to fill it with rocks about two inches in diameter. He then asked the students if the jar was full. They agreed that it was full. So the professor then picked up a box of pebbles and poured them into the jar. He shook the jar lightly and watched as the pebbles rolled into the open areas between the rocks. The professor then asked the students again if the jar was full. They chuckled and agree that it was indeed full this time. The professor picked up a box of sand and poured it into the jar. The sand filled the remaining open areas of the jar. Now, said the professor, I want you to recognize that this jar signifies your life. The rocks are the truly important things, such as family, health and relationships. If all else was lost and only the rocks remained, your life would still be meaningful. The pebbles are the other things that matter in your life, such as work or school. The sand signifies the remaining small stuff and material possessions. If you were to put sand into the jar first, there is no room for the rocks or the pebbles. The same can be applied to your lives. If you spend all your time and energy on the small stuff, you will never have room for the things that are truly important. Pay attention to the things in life that are critical to your happiness and well-being. Take time to look after your health, play with your children, go for a run, write a letter to your grandmother. There will always be time to go to work, clean the house or watch TV. Take care of the rocks first. The things that really matter set your priorities. The rest is just pebbles and sand. In case you're wondering, it really only works if you put the big rocks in first. It's a great metaphor for life. So in addition to writing down your academic goals, be sure to identify your top three to four priorities that are important to you and that you're going to set time aside for as it relates to being a successful student. Once you've identified your priorities and goals, I find it helpful to see a visual picture of my semester commitments before the semester begins to ensure that all my priorities still fit. I'd encourage you to try this also. First, begin with a blank schedule 
for one week. Next in, add all your semester priorities and time commitments, like classes, study time, family, work. I like to color code mine. Blue for classes, and red for study time, green for work, and pink and purple for personal. Remember, one of the biggest differences between high school and college is the amount of study time you need to allocate. For every credit hour you take, you will need to set aside one to three hours of study time in addition to the time you spend attending class. Notice how your class and your schedule is filling up already. Finally, don't forget to add in the time for your priorities, like family time and personal time and sleep. Once you have your semester in full view, some adjustments may need to be made in light of your new academic goal and your priorities. That's okay. If you need more help with this, we have Gateway Advisors here to help you. It can be overwhelming at first. Start small. Just like a rudder on a ship, it doesn't wake, make one shift and then arrive at its destination. It's the small little shifts and choices throughout your journey that ultimately determine if you reach your goal or not. So every day, ask yourself, is what I'm doing today furthering my goal? If not, ask yourself, what do I need to do to make it a priority? The second habit of a highly successful student is understanding classroom expectations. As part of your priority setting process, make sure you understand what your faculty expects from you. In each class, you'll receive a syllabus, which is your guiding document for the semester. In it, the instructor will lay out their expectations that are specific to your particular course and faculty member. But here's some universal expectations from instructors. Show up for class every day. Be on time. Turn your work in on time. And read your assignments before class. Be sure to communicate with your instructor. It's so important. Stark State faculty and staff care about you and want you to succeed. But it's important that you communicate with us so that we know best how to help. Also, respect each other's opinions and who they are. Which brings us to our third habit of a successful student, embracing diversity. Each one of you is unique. From background, to race, to ethnicity, to nationality, gender, religion, sexuality, age, physical features, and more. These are the pieces that come together and intersect within you to make up who you are. Valuing that intersection, that unique you, is at the core of making Stark State such a rich environment. So I would encourage you, while you are here at Stark State College, strike up a conversation that broadens your perspectives and furthers your understanding. Observe cultural differences. Get involved in clubs and organizations and attend programming to learn more. When you open yourself up to experiencing those who are different than you, there are so many benefits. We embrace diversity and seek to promote opportunities for excellence to be achieved by all. The fourth habit of highly successful students is that they seek assistance and resources. The top reason students drop out of college often can have little to do with academics. Remember, we have an entire staff and faculty at Stark State dedicated to helping you succeed. During the program today, we'll cover many of these resources available to you. Let's hear from recent successful Stark State graduate, Frankie Martin. Welcome new students to Stark State. My name is Frankie and I am a recent graduate. I just wanted to take a few moments to talk about the resources that Stark State has to offer you. Your success is Stark State's main goal, and they provide you so many resources to help you get from start to finish. You just need to reach out and ask for help. I personally use the Writing Center and the Tutoring Center. I was struggling so much in my classes, and without these resources, I probably would have failed. You can also look at the Stark State College Resource Guide for a complete list of resources that are available to you. I would also encourage you to get involved on campus. This is such an amazing thing for me. I was a student worker in admissions. I was a student ambassador for admissions. I was the lead senator for the Student Government Association. I was also president of Student Health Information Management Association Club, as well as a Phi Theta Kappa member. All of these clubs and things that I was involved in really helped me network and connect with everybody. And everyone was always there to help me and I knew I could always reach out and ask for help. So that is the main thing you need to remember. You have resources to get you from start to finish. You need to reach out and make that step and ask for help. And don't be afraid to ask for help either. So I wish you guys the best and you made the best decision by coming to Start State. Good luck. 
Finally, highly successful students will study what they love. Recent successful graduate, Kara Bagley, has some advice on why studying what you love is so important. When choosing a degree, it's so important that you choose something that you love and that brings you happiness. I recently graduated with my degree in business management and I chose that degree because when I thought about my future in the business world and hopefully one day becoming CEO, it excited me. And when I got excited about thinking of my future, it motivated me to show up to class, to do my homework and to get good grades. So I urge you, find a degree, find a career that you love and that will bring you so much happiness. I wish you the best of luck in your college career. If you don't know yet what your career path or goal is or need help connecting to the best career for you, be sure to reach out to our Stark State Career Development Office. They can connect you with in-demand careers and their service is free. As you begin the semester, put into practice these five habits of highly successful students. At Stark State College, we want you to know we care about you and we're excited to partner with you on your academic journey. Welcome to Stark State College. We're so glad you're here. Good morning, I am Sherry Brooks from Stark State College. I work in the Office of Student Life and Recreation. We're so glad you've joined us this morning. We're here to answer questions live during our program. So if you have any questions, please enter those in the chat. Let's see what questions we have this morning. Kathy? Okay, a common question. How do I get a parking permit? That is a great question. If you're coming on campus, you will need a parking permit. So what you will do is you will go to My Stark State, log in, and that's where you'll actually access your parking permit to request one. And then you'll go to the campus security office to receive that parking permit physically. Now, parking permits are actually good summer fall and spring so they need to be renewed and they expire each june 1st they are free okay another good question where do i get my student id it's a great question a student id you can pick up in the office of admissions and a student id is great to have you can use it to ride the sarda bus system it's also a great form of you know just to have an identification for a photo id and then there also are discounts in the community with your id Okay, how do I know which books to buy for my classes? Another really good question. Obviously getting books is an important part of being prepared for college. So we wanna make sure that you're prepared. You'll want to go to our college bookstore. You can either do that in person or on the website. So we have a location here at the main campus in the college store in the S building, or our Akron location also has a bookstore there. Additionally, if you visit the Stark State website, you will find the college store that lists everything that you need to be prepared for this semester. Do we have any other questions? All right, please keep those questions coming. Just wanna give you a few updates what's going to be happening next week. If you come on campus, do be aware as soon as you come to campus, you are required um, to wear a mask. So please be sure to bring your mask with you. When you check in, there is a security check-in at each campus entrance. We have four campus entrances um, you can enter into. When you come there, there'll be a scan. It's touchless, so you walk in, they will scan to make sure that your temperature is at the appropriate level, and then you can proceed throughout the building. We will have resource tables at each entrance. Those resource tables are just a kind of fun welcome for you and to give you the materials you might need. So you can stop by, pick up a campus map, a planner, and a pen. We also have a welcome gift for you. It's a COVID care kit. So it includes a mask, sanitizer, and even some chocolate hugs from Stark State College. We want you to know that we're here for you. We're excited you're here. We want you to be safe. We want you all to also feel welcome. So that's what's happening during Welcome Week. You can also post your pictures on our social media pages on your, of your first day to celebrate. Even though this semester may look different for you, we want to see those first day photos as you're getting ready for the semester. We also have activities throughout the semester to make sure you're prepared. One of the greatest things um, that I've enjoyed here at Stark State is our Leadership Academy. The Student Leadership Academy is a free leadership program where you're able to log in at whatever time is convenient for you and earn a certificate in leadership. Do you consider this this semester? We have 
workshops related to personal finance, wellness, we have workshops related to cultural diversity, equity and inclusion, and also on leadership. This is a really good program to consider. We'll be celebrating random acts of kindness this semester. You'll even have some sneak peek as a donuts from our amazing Dean Nicholson Sweevel will be coming this semester. So we have a lot planned, even a Rocket League game night on January 27th. So pay attention to social media. There's a lot going on this semester to connect you both in the classroom and outside. So we're really glad you're here. Kathy, do we have any additional questions? There is a question. Um, I cannot log on to Blackboard. Um, Okay, that's a great question. So if you cannot log on to Blackboard, um, we have a help desk. I would also consider contacting them. In addition, you, if you have issues with your login, you may want to contact the Gateway St Student Center to make sure you have your correct username. But the help desk is a great place to visit on the website and they can assist you with any login issues that you have. Any other questions? Yes, how do you find the Leadership Academy that is a great question. So you can actually visit under current students. So if you visit the Stark State website, which is starkstate.edu, under current students, there is a link for student leadership. So you can visit there, you can log in, and you can actually already register. Thank you so much for your questions. Keep them coming. Um, we'll have additional live question and answers in just a few moments. Greetings, Jumpstarters, and welcome to Stark State College. I'm Linda Morosco, Director of East Stark State. And in this session, we're going to learn about the top 10 things to know about taking online courses. Join me for this journey. Beginning with number 10, check your technology. The right tools will make taking your online class easier. First, be sure you're using a PC or a Mac. Use either Firefox or Chrome as your preferred browser. You need to have a high-speed internet connection. While Chromebooks, tablets, and phones are great for browsing through the course and reading and viewing required materials, they do not work for testing. You will need to have a computer to take a test. Coming in at number nine, orientations. Did you know that we have two of them? That's right. At Stark State College, you're going to find that there is an orientation for all students that will inform you about the college itself. You can either do an in-person orientation or you can do a virtual orientation. You can find that information at www.starkstate.edu slash admissions slash orientation. And there's a link for the online orientation right there. If you've signed up to take a Web 2, 3, or 4 course, you will also be required to complete the East Stark State Orientation. This orientation will familiarize you with the learning management system used at Stark State College, Blackboard, and will give you best practices for being a successful online student. Once you enroll in those classes, that orientation will be found in Blackboard, and you'll see it here on my screen right here. We'll look at how we get in there in just a minute. Number seven is going to be accessing your online classes. On the first day of the semester, you're going to want to open a browser and you're going to navigate to blackboard.starkstate.edu. That will take you to the sign-in page for Blackboard. You're going to click this down arrow on the third party account button and you're going to choose Stark State Student Login. You're going to put in your Stark State email address and your Stark State password. And then you're going to sign in. Once you do that, you will land on the institution page of Blackboard where we have some helpful hints and tips about using Blackboard. The student link will have information that's pertinent to you. One of the most important things on this link are the ability to have notifications sent to you to your email or to your cell phone and you can receive text messages that will let you know when there are updates to course content when grades have been posted or any other important things that you would want to know the activity stream is just 
the most recent things that have been going on in the course. It'll have some updates. It might have various institutional announcements that you might find helpful. But the most important link is the courses link because that's where your courses are going to be found. As we talked earlier, this is where the online orientation is. To access a class, all you have to do is just click the link and it'll take you right in. Number six is where should you begin? Once you access your online course, what should you do first? We're going to keep working with succeeding online. Once you enter the course, often you'll start with an announcement that your instructor wants you to read first. You can see here that this one contains the basic information on how you navigate through the course. The best place to begin in any course is the Start Here folder. The Start Here folder is going to contain all of the important things that you need to know about the class. It's going to contain a welcome message for the instructor. It will contain some expectations about the course, some guidelines, how grades are determined, and the syllabi. We will look at those in just a moment. We're going to stay in the Start Here folder for number five, reviewing syllabi. Every course comes with two syllabi, and you will always find them in the Start Here folder. We have two practice syllabi here in Succeeding Online. Let's start with the master syllabus. The master syllabus begins with division and department where the course resides. It also gives you the actual name of the course and what its course number is. You will also see how many credit and contact hours and what kind of hours those are, lecture and lab, or in this case, a lecture and a directed practice. It will give you the description of the course and list the general learning outcomes of the course. You will also find out what the course objectives are for this course. These are very important. These are the things we expect you to do when the course is completed. The remainder of the master syllabus contains college policies and information. Let's take a look at the course syllabus. This is the one where you'll spend the most time. The course syllabus repeats the division department that the course resides in. It'll also tell you which term this syllabus is for. Course name, the course number, and this number, the CRN, is very important. This is unique to the actual course you are taking and is something you would need to refer to when you need help on the course. This course syllabus also tells you the course modality. In this case, this is a Web3 class and it will inform you on any course meeting, dates, times, and locations. The instructor teaching the course has a block on the course syllabus that you want to pay attention to. It includes their name, any office hour information, their room office location, and the phone number for contacting them. It will also contain their email address. If the course has any required materials, including books and other materials, that information will be in the required materials section. Whatever methods of evaluation are going to be used will be spelled out in the course syllabus and the course syllabus will include the grading scale. You will also see class policies. These differ from college policies because these are the things that your instructor expects you to follow. They can include attendance, how the instructor wants to be contacted, any other information they want you to follow. The course syllabus will also contain a withdrawal date for the course. That is the last possible date that you could withdraw from the course and get a W on your transcript, not an F. The final section of the course syllabus includes the course outline and calendar. This is critical because it will let you know what it is you have to do every week in the class. Number four, create a work study schedule and stick to it. For every credit hour, you will spend one hour in class. For every hour of class, you need to allocate two hours of study time. So how much time are you going to need for a three-hour class? If the class is three hours, you've got three hours you allocate for just taking in all of the course materials. Then you have to allocate another two hours for each one of those hours for studying and homework. So that's six hours for a total of nine hours for one class. Some weeks that will be more, some weeks that will be less, but make sure you allocate that time. You'll find really good tips 
at this website, libguides.starkstate.edu slash study skills slash online tips. There's a section on study schedule that actually comes with a chart that you can download and fill in for the times you need to allocate for your classes. Make sure that you take a look at this website. Number three is to complete your week one assignments as quickly as possible. It's important that you know where your content is. We reviewed Start Here, and now we're going to move to the Lessons tab where you're going to find all of the content you will need for the entire semester for the course. Many courses arrange the content in a weekly fashion, and each week is released one week at a time to the students. Some courses use a module system and release one module at a time. You can see in our example that this is a six-module course, and we're going to look at Module 1 first. There are a list of material activities that I need to complete and an assignment. You must complete that assignment in the first week of the semester in order not to be dropped as a never attend from the class. Number two, knowing how to get help. This is the number one thing that students do not do. Ask for help. So here are some options that you have. First, one of the first things you can do to get help is know who your instructor is. If you look at the name of your course, you're going to see your instructor's last name right there on the Blackboard screen. It tells you their last name. When you are inside of a course, you can go to the course messages feature and create a message and send it to your instructor. Now if your instructor has said that they want to be contacted at their Stark State email address, you will need to use your Gmail address and email them that way. Other ways to get help, we have a Stark State student blog, starkstate.edu slash estudent. You'll find many articles about using the various Blackboard features. You'll also find a link that says getting help and that will take you to the information you need for using the Stark State College Help Desk. The Help Desk is another way that you can get help. If you're struggling with technical issues, you can contact Lydia Lee, who provides one-to-one -one technical training for students. The first place to go for help is your instructor. If you're having problems with Blackboard, you'll want to put in a Help Desk ticket or need other support, contact Lydia Lee. And now we're at number one. The number one thing you need to do to be successful online is communicate. When in doubt, give a shout. As you can see, I still have the course messages feature open here in Blackboard. Please send your instructor a message. Contact them via email. Reach out and ask for help. It's up to you to let us know when you're struggling because that is the only way that we can help you. Thank you so much for joining me today and learning about the things you need to know to be successful online. Now, it's time for me to answer your questions. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Patty Brown and I'm filling in for Linda Morosco today on the live question and answer session. I work in East Stark State, which is our online learning here at Stark State College. So I'm here to answer any question you have. Uh, one common question we have is, can I do my Blackboard orientation before the semester starts, and how soon should I complete it? Yes, you can definitely do your Succeeding Online orientation for our Blackboard system before the semester starts. In fact, we encourage you to get it done as soon as possible. You'll want to get that done probably sometime this weekend, so your classes will be available for you on Tuesday. And some instructors open their classes early, so making sure you have the orientation done as soon as possible will be helpful. How long does it usually take to complete? It really depends on you and how much time you want to dedicate at one sitting, but if you do sit down at one sitting, probably it's going to take you a couple hours to get through it. There are a lot of videos, so if you watch every video, which we do suggest, and you'll have assignments that you need to do to open each module, That'll probably take you a couple hours to get it done. If I don't get my orientation done the first week and I get dropped from my class, is there anything I can do to get back in? What you have to do is you will have to talk to your instructor. They really have full um, 
ability to assess whether it's appropriate to allow you back in. It depends on how much of the class you've missed, but the first thing you should do is contact your instructor. What is, what is a typical amount of time to wait to hear back from an online instructor? That's a great question. And I, I'm glad you're asking that because that means you're communicating with your instructor. That's the first thing you want to do. It depends on when you email them. If you contact them late in the evening, don't expect to get an email probably till the next day. We generally say that it's going to be between 24 to 48 hours to hear back. And it also depends if you email on the weekend. It may take, if you email on a Sunday, you might not hear back from Monday. So give it a little bit of time, but I would say 24 to 48 hours. Uh, we have a question in chat. Do I need to make an appointment with my instructor or advisor every time I need help? Well, it depends on what sort of help you need. Uh, probably if you need help with a classroom um, specific, yeah, you want to di directly go to your instructor. If it's something more about the classes you're taking maybe next semester or something with your program, I would suggest going to your advisor. So it really depends on what type of a question you have. But first start with your instructor if it's a classroom related. If you have more of a technical issue where you can't get into Blackboard or you feel it's more technical, the, you should put in a help desk ticket. The help desk, we watch those tickets and we answer those tickets very quickly and we can get help for you. Another question in chat asks, should I be scared to contact them too much if I'm not understanding something? No, never be afraid to contact your instructor. I teach as well, and I actually prefer that my students email me as often as they need. And also, even though you're, you may be taking an online class, your instructor can meet with you via Zoom or they may set up a, a meeting in the office. So no, never be afraid of contacting your instructor. You contact them as much as you need to because our goal is to help you learn. That's, a, that's our whole reason for being here. So please contact them as often as you need. One of my classes use, uses Pearson My Labs. How do I find that and where do I enter the access code? That's a great question. That you're going to find all that information once you get into your class. We have a lot of good instructions, a video explaining how to do that. If you do have questions with that, your first step would be to go through your instructor and then they may um, give you more instruction and you may have to contact Pearson, but generally your instructor can help you through that. So you'll have all that information in your class. Do so I go to your class first. Do I need a specific microphone for Zoom or Collaborate? You don't necessarily need a specific one, but you do need to make sure that your laptop or computer has, um, if it has an internal mic, then you're not going to need an external one. But if it doesn't for some reason, you will have to get another mic. And you can probably just research something on Google and you'll find just a standard mic. You don't need anything special, but you will need to get a mic. Should online students still get a student ID? Yes, you should still get a student ID because that will allow you um, access to other things, not just some online things that are online. So yes. OK, thank you very much for all your questions. And um, congratulations. And we welcome you to Stark State College. Hi, my name is Natalie Harrington. I'm the coordinator for career services here at Stark State College, and I'm so excited that you chose this specific session of Jumpstart. We're jumpstarting your future career confidence today. So when you come to Stark State, we want you to be confident in the major that you've chosen, in your career for your future, and because we know that leads to motivation, that's what we're gonna talk about today. So I have folks reach out to me with all kinds of questions. Maybe it's, I'm not sure what I should major in, or I'm not sure what the right career is for me, or how do I even know I've made the right choice, or how do I know if I'm gonna be successful, or can I get a job in my field after I graduate, and who can even help me with any of this? And by that time, your brain is exploding. And our goal is not to have your brain explode. Our goal is to let you know that there are folks here to help you through every step of this process in career services. So one of the things that you're gonna see on your screen right now is our career success pathway. Everybody comes to Stark State at a different starting point. So whether you're discovering or preparing or connecting or launching, one of our career specialists can work with you to help you through that stage.
So we have individualized services. Whether it's career exploration and you kind of focus more on some of those first few questions where you're just not sure if you're going in the right direction, if it's the right fit, if it's the right major, if it's the right career. Or maybe you need a resume or a cover letter because you know those are your golden tickets into an interview. Or maybe it's that you want to be able to work through networking and be able to connect with folks that are in that field. Or you're getting ready to start going to career events for the first time and you're not sure what that looks like. We are here to assist you. And maybe the thing that you need help with most isn't on the screen at all. Just ask because everything we do is specialized for you. So one of the excellent tools that we have here that's completely free for you is called Career Coach. And so that's through our website at Career Services. You're going to see the link at the bottom of your screen. And what it does is it gives you an assessment. It's 60 questions and it really identifies what are your interest areas, what are your values, what's your personality like, and then it connects you to careers that are going to be a good fit. And we talk about what does being successful mean. I kind of identify that with feeling like you're firing on all cylinders, that somebody is using the best parts of you in the daily work that you're doing. And so that's what this assessment allows you to figure out. You don't have to wait until you're coming to classes at Stark State. You could do this assessment ahead of time to feel more confident, or you can wait until you get into classes, whatever works best for you. So when you go to this website, up at the top right hand corner, you're going to see a sign up button. You're going to click that it's going to collect just a little bit of information and what that does is it allows you to take the assessment and then come in and the career specialist can pull up that information and talk with you through those results. The second step is you're actually going to click take the assessment and you're going to have two options after you do that. One is going to be a 60 question assessment. I know that sounds like a lot, but really it's like talking to a friend. The more you talk with them, the more information that they have to be able to base that final result off of or your choices. And so you're going to go with that one. And there's two things I want you to keep in mind if you decide to take this assessment. And these are really challenging because they're things we automatically think about when we think about our careers. So the first is don't worry about if you have enough education or training to do the thing that you're saying whether you're interested in or not. And the second thing is money. That's such an important part of choosing a career. However, in this setting, try not to think about that. But when we go through your results with you in an appointment, we'll talk all about that very realistically. When you take the assessment, it's going to ask you a question of what you'd like to do. So would you like to build kitchen cabinets, for example? And then you have the opportunity to gauge on a scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree where you best identify. Please don't choose unsure. You know, if I called you today and said, come with me, let's go build kitchen cabinets, you'd either be like, Natalie, yes, I will drop everything, I will come with you, or please never call me about that again. So you know, go with your gut and choose on that scale. When you're done with all those questions, it's gonna give you a full set of results. And the first thing it's gonna do is talk about some traits that you have. It's gonna give you really nice descriptions because the better you know yourself, the better that we can help you connect with a career that fits. It's going to go into so much information and you can investigate as much as you want or as little as you want, but it's going to give you a list of different career paths. And within those career paths, you can dig in deeper. So maybe it starts with something like education. Well, there's lots of different ways to go into education. Maybe it's as an administrator or a teacher or in professional support services. And what you're going to notice on the right hand side of the screen is it's going to give you some percentages. How well do you match with those certain areas? And then you can dive in deeper by clicking on that link. And it's going to give you information about wage and about employment trends. You can change the radius of the map so that it can show you locally around Stark State at main campus in North Canton, all the way up to Cleveland or as far out as you want that range. So it gives you up to date information. But maybe you say, you know what, Natalie, I know my major. I know what career path I want to go into. I'm ready to get some experience and that's why I'm coming to Stark State. Finding an internship before you graduate is an excellent way for you to really get a feel for what that major and career is going to do for you moving forward. 
One of the ways that we have for you to do that here is an online job board called Handshake. And when I talk to people about Handshake that have never used it before, especially in a society where we are wearing masks and we are social distancing and we are not shaking hands and it brings confusion, the way that I explain it is it is a virtual job board that looks like Facebook. It functions like LinkedIn and it thinks like Netflix. And so it's very intuitive, it's fun, it's easy to use, and it's such a fast way to connect with employers in a very personal way, but in a virtual setting. So you can go on Handshake, you'll build a profile, you'll be able to research companies, you'll be able to have a fast application for job and internship opportunities. The link is at the bottom of your screen. If you want help with that, we'll walk you through every step of the process, but feel free to set up your account before you even come to Stark State for your first class. In Career Services, we want you to be connected. We want you to have the most up-to-date information. And so each week we release a hot jobs email. In that email, we have got links for you for opportunities where employers have reached out directly to us and said, we want to hire Stark State students because this community knows the impact, the benefit, the level, education that you get here at Stark State and they're looking to recruit you directly. So you'll be able to click on the links in that email, go to Handshake and apply for those positions. In the email, it's also gonna talk about what are the events that are happening on campus or virtually that are gonna allow you to connect to employers. So it's so important to read your email. I know that it's really tough, you get bombarded, you wanna delete everything, just ignore it, don't do it. This is one that you absolutely wanna open, spend two minutes skimming it each week. It's going to create opportunities for you. So speaking of opportunities, every semester we have a different event menu to choose from. But remember, it goes back to that career success pathway no matter where you are. So maybe you would like to attend a specialized workshop, somebody to help you hand by hand to walk through creating a resume, or it's that job interview, or it's that exploration. We do workshops on all of our different topics. So please know that you can connect with us in person. We're doing Zoom appointments. It can be by phone. We can schedule in person if you prefer. So please reach out via email or phone, whatever is most convenient for you. We offer scheduled appointments throughout the day. We also extend through the evening. So if you're working and going to school, again, please always ask. We're gonna accommodate you. Questions are always welcome. You can reach out to myself or anybody else on the Career Services team. Welcome, and we're happy to have you for your next part of your adventure. Hi, I'm Natalie Harrington from the video for Career Services here at Stark State College, and I'm so excited to welcome you and be able to chat live with you today. We also have Dr. Nicholson Sweevel. She's gonna be reading all the comments that you put in chat. So if you've got a question about Career Services or about Stark State College, feel free to enter them now. Um, even if it's not specifically about Career Services, we have an excellent team that is going to be answering your questions through the chat, so feel free to pop those in there. But I'm here to talk with you for the next few minutes live about Career Services professional development and how we can assist you during your time here at Stark State. So, Badiri, do we have any questions? We do. We have a few. Okay. Um, so, will you be providing career fairs this semester? Yeah, that's a great question. So, we always are creating opportunities for you to connect with employers, but right now that looks really different. And so we have Handshake here, which is a live and virtual event platform where we host our career fairs. And so right now, because we are completely virtual for all of our events, we will be hosting two for this spring. So that's really exciting. Um, one of them is gonna be for every single major here at Stark State College. So no matter which major you're choosing, you have the opportunity to participate, but it looks a little bit different. So if you've ever attended a career fair, a lot of folks will walk in, they'll walk around to different employers that are set up with booths to have a conversation. Maybe they'll take some of the fun prizes that are on the table that employers will bring with them. But since it's virtual, the way that we have it set up is there's not really an opportunity just to chat and have a conversation through the Handshake platform. And so we are doing a speed interviewing hiring event. And so what's really neat about that is typically with any opportunity that you apply for, 
you have to submit your resume and an application and then you get time to talk with a recruiter. For these two events, one of them again will be for all majors and the other one is for anybody in our health, human and social services or public safety areas. We will have employers that will do 10 minute interviews one on one with you during the event. So we're really excited to be able to connect you to employers in a very different way during this time. Any other questions? All right, I have another one. So Great. I'm a, a person who likes to meet in person, mm. and I'd like to meet with a career advisor in person. Is virtual, is virtual really as good? Oh, that's a great question. And so I think that you are not alone in that. A lot of people really would prefer to be in person. However, we have used Zoom for our meetings with students for the last two semesters, and it is so helpful. We really will make you feel just like you're sitting across the desk from us. We can do anything over the internet through Zoom that we could if you were live in person with us. So if you need your resume reviewed, that's something that we can absolutely do through Zoom. We do screen share, and so we're able to work on it actively. It's a really great opportunity to have those same kind of conversations. So we have both types of advising this coming semester. You can still meet with us in person. We're here every single day on main campus and on Tuesdays and Thursdays up at our Akron campus. So feel free to set up an appointment in person. That's completely fine. But if the in-person appointments don't meet your schedule, then we also offer virtual appointments anytime we're open throughout the week, Monday through Friday from 8 to 4.30. So great question. We hope that you still set up a virtual appointment. Great, I have a couple more. Wonderful. So do I have to wait until I'm close to graduating before I can go to career services? Oh, that's a question that we get all the time. And it's really tough when you first come to college, right? It's, it's challenging because you are focused on your classwork and really being successful in those ways. But it's so important to also get engaged with career services early to start attending events and attending different workshops and things so you can get a feel for what services we offer. So my motto is the earlier the better. And I don't know about you, but I feel like having a champion in my corner, somebody that knows what my goals are post-graduation, somebody that is gonna encourage me on and somebody just to talk to when times are really challenging, that's career services. So once we know what you're looking for, we can always kind of direct you, give you the insider track into opportunities and then connect you throughout your entire time at, here at Stark State College. One final question, Natalie. Sure. Do you host any workshops that might help with professional development? Yeah, that's a great question. So we have a lot of students that would prefer to be in a group setting instead of 101, just to learn some of those basic principles. Um, and so we do workshops for resume and cover letter, but also virtual interviewing, virtual hiring, because we know a lot of employers are recruiting in that direction. Maybe it's a career fair, you've never attended one, we do workshops on that too. So it's called our Work It series. And if you go to the Career Services website, you can just Google Career Services at Stark State College and our website's going to pop up. There's a full calendar of events and then registration links right there for you. There's also the ability to scroll down. You can click on the buttons to make an appointment. So any of those things that we kind of talked about from these questions today that you're interested in, all that information is going to be right there for you. So you can cl click that button in person or a virtual appointment or be able to look and see about any of the events, whether they're workshops or the career fairs that we have this semester. We're so excited to have you join us. Please make sure you stop in and see Career Services. We'd love to assist you. This is Ben Tobias. I'm the director of the TRIO Student Support Services Program here at Stark State College. We work with first generation college students to help them make it through college. And that means if your parents didn't graduate from a four year institution, then you are eligible to be a part of the TRIO Student Support Services Program and Hopefully we can help you find success as you find your way through Stark State College and your college career. But right now I'm gonna to talk to you about the importance of getting a fast start when it comes to your college success. And that's why this is called Six Weeks to Student Success because those first six weeks are so important as you make your way through school, especially here at Stark State College. And when we're looking at week Number one, the very first thing you need to do, always and forever, is check your email. We're constantly sending information out to students and the best way to do that really is through email, email, email. And you need to check your email on a daily basis, um, oftentimes more than once because oftentimes information is gonna be coming at you quite quickly. 
Number two, of course, you have to go to class. 50%, 90% of success, 90% of success is showing up, right? We have to go to class. We have to be in class to be ready to learn, to be ready to be available to our instructors so that we can continue with our career. And we also have to review the syllabi. The syllabi will tell us what it is we need to know to do well in this class. It will list out homework assignments. It'll list out when quizzes are presented. It'll list out when tests are presented. It will help you know how many points are in that class so you know what you need to get an A or a B or a C. Sometimes we need to strategically approach a class so we know, well, I need a C in this class in order to make it, so I need 450 points or whatever the point total is. You also have to put the due dates in your calendar from that syllabus to help you know when things are coming up. Right? We want to know when our homework is. We want to know when our first quizzes are going to be. We want to know when our first tests are going to be. This is all to give us a beginning lead into becoming successful for the semester. And we have to start any reading that's going to be coming because let me tell you what, in college there is a lot of reading. In life there's a lot of reading. I haven't stopped reading since uh, probably the day I learned how to read, right? So when we're in college, we have to get started on our reading and we have to identify, finally, who our success champions are going to be. Again, in TRIO, we work with first-generation college students to help them make it through college. You can identify your success champion as being a mentor at the school, whether it be a professor, whether it be a fellow staff member, if you need to refer yourself to disability services, if you need to find yourself with veteran services, if you need to find help in the library. There's always somebody at Stark State who is willing to help and able to help and while we do our very best to present to you who those success champions are it's also on you to find who your personal success champion can be and it could literally be anybody at Stark State. We're already then in week two and in week two the very first thing you need to do is check your email 10 times a day, 20 times a day always checking that email to know what's coming and what's expected. And of course, we must go to class again in week number two. We have to start building relationships with instructors because learning is all about relationships. It's all about knowing who your instructor is. What is their teaching style? What do they, uh, what do they prefer when it comes to the way they teach as compared to the way that you like to learn? Building those relationships with your instructors will make it not only a pleasurable experience for you personally as a student, but it will be, make a pleasurable experience for your instructor because they want to get to know you as a student as well and they want to be able to teach you the best way they can and really the only way to be able to do that is by building those relationships. You also need to set goals for the semester. You need to know I am going to not just get a grade. I'm not talking about just grades in the class because everybody wants to get a good grade, but setting those goals as to how am I going to get to where I need to be for this semester. You also can make new friends. College is about relationships. It's about relationships with our professors and it's about relationships with our fellow students. And you will be making friends and getting involved in activities in the school to help us, uh, to help Stark State be an entire whole student experience. And making friends is very important in that. Which brings us to week three already, right away. And the first thing, of course, we need to do is check our email. 10, 20, 30, 40 times a day. You have to check your email as often as you possibly can. You have to go to class. If we're not in class, we're not learning, and if we're not learning, we're wasting our time at Stark State. The whole point is to get that degree so that we can go off into the world and be professionals. This is at the time when you're gonna to have to seek tutoring if you feel like you need tutoring in whatever class you're taking, whether it be math or writing. Tutoring is so important, and there's tons of tutoring at Stark State, and you need to seek out that tutoring as best as you can find it, and find out what are your barriers to your success, and find the support to match those, uh, the ability to get past those barriers. And they might not always be academic barriers. They might be life barriers that certainly get in the way that we all know about. So you have to identify what your barriers are and find the support. And I'll bet you if there's a barrier at Stark State, we've got support to help you get through that. Check out student life. In week number two, we were working on making friends. Week number three, we're checking out student life. That's the best way to make friends because when you're doing student life at Stark State College, you're finding other people that have the same interests as you. 
If you're a gamer, we've got a gaming club. If you like to play chess, we've got a chess club. If you like to speak languages, we have a language club. You always are able to find people who have the same interests as you, which helps you uh, find success at Stark State because it helps feed that need to, to belong and to want to be a part of something. We're already at week number four. We're a month in to our semester. And in that first, in that fourth week rather, we always need to check our email 40, 50, 60, 70 times a day, always checking with our email. We also have to go to class every single time we have to go to class. And that kind of goes without saying, but I'm saying it because it's true. People aren't going to class all the time. That's when we start to pre prepare, to prep for those upcoming tests that are approaching, fast approaching. By week four, we're already into the tests. And um, some classes are very test heavy, right? We need to know content and be able to present that content. So we have to prepare for those upcoming tests as they approach. Did you get an early alert? By week number four, a month into it, you're gonna get an early alert if you are struggling in a class or if a teacher feels like you're not doing properly in the class. You'll get that early alert and that early alert is also a warning and an identifier to help you come up with what is your barrier, what is preventing you from getting the good grade in the class or the grade that you want in the class. And finally, getting help with those study skills that are so important when it comes to success in college. Studying in college and studying in high school are two very, very different animals. And knowing how to get those right types of study skills will help you become successful at Stark State College. We're already in week number five, my friends. And of course, in week number five, the first thing we have to do is check our email 60, 70, 80 times a day. We have to go to class. We must always be in class unless we're sick or unless our child is sick. We have a good excuse for not coming to class. By all means, we don't go to class. But if there are no excuses, we must be in class. We have to have the ability to stay focused. And by week five, it becomes difficult to stay focused sometimes because there are so many things pulling at us, our other classes that we're taking, what's going on at home, what's going on at work, all of these things pull us away and it becomes very important to stay focused on the tasks at hand, keeping your calendar up to date. We talked about that in week number one and week number two, we're writing out the dates to when things are due in class and it's so important to keep that calendar up to date. We have to find inspiration. We found our success coaches, right? Our people to help us get through. We found our barriers, so we know people that can help us get through our barriers. We can also find inspiration, and that may be from the same people that are giving us support for the barriers that we're finding, but you might find inspiration somewhere else, from another student, from another staff member, from another teacher at the college, from somebody who works in maintenance. Absolutely, we've had people find inspiration from people who work in all aspects of our school, and it's important for you to find where that inspiration is. And then, of course, we have to keep reading. Reading, reading, reading constantly in college is such a challenge on every level. And finally, we're in week number six. We're a third of the way through a semester. We're already heavy into college. And the first thing we need to do in week number six is check our email 100 times a day, 110 times a day, 150 times a day. I don't care what it takes, but you have to check your email all the time. You have to go to class, of course. You have to assess where your grades are six weeks in. If we're, in, if, if we're doing fine six weeks in, then fantastic. You've, you, you, you've found success at Stark State in your first six weeks. But if you're struggling, you have to assess why you're struggling. And it's not always because we don't understand what's going on in class. Sometimes it could be other reasons. And those reasons really are, are too numerous to mention. But they're unique to you. And that's where your success person helps you find that. It helps you also find out how things are going. How are you doing in school? school and how that relates to how you're doing at home and how you're doing at work. Everything ties together and you find that more and more as you attend Stark State and, you, and as you attend college that everything ties itself together. And finally in week number six we have to prepare for those midterms because eight weeks in is halfway through, right? So midterms are approaching rapidly. How can we prepare for those midterms? Well, we find our success people, right? We find our motivators, we find our inspiration. We look at our notes, we look at our tests, we look at all the things that have prepared us to become good students at Stark State College. 
Now, this is a rapid presentation because things are moving along more quickly right now. And we would spend a considerable amount of time in TRIO talking about all these important uh, uh, study skills and goals that are, that are vital for you to find success at Stark State. So I want to encourage you to stick to these important first six weeks in school and always reach out to whomever you can reach out to to find the help that you need to become successful at Stark State College. Thanks very much. Hello, Stark Staters. I'm Elizabeth Inken and Shale from the Office of Student Support. This can be a challenging time for students, and we want you to know we are here to help. We are an office of professional counselors offering mental and emotional support, as well as providing referrals to community agencies that can provide support and assistance for basic needs. Check out our webpage at the Stark State website for more information or make an appointment. We can also be reached by email or phone. A good place to access community resources is to visit the United Way's website or call 211 from any phone to see what resources are available in your area. Crisis lines are also available 24-7 for emotional and mental health support. The Suicide Prevention Line at 1-800-273-TALK and the Crisis Text Line can be reached by texting 4HOPE to 741-741. Remember, we're all in this together. Please reach out. We're here to help. And we want you to have a great start from the Office of Student Support. Hello, Stark State students. My name is Kyle with the Math Department. I'm here to tell you today about our services we offer in tutoring. We offer tutoring at main campus and at Perkins and online. Tutoring at main campus and Perkins does have social distancing to keep you safe. If you need any information, please go to My Stark State Academic Support Math Learning Center. Hello, I'm Nicole from the Writing Center. Our Writing Center tutors are available to help you with any writing assignment from any of your courses. We can help you at any stage of your writing process, from generating ideas to putting the finishing touches on your final draft. We are here to provide you with professional feedback and answer all of your writing questions. Our tutors are available for both in-person and online appointments. You can find all the information you need to connect with us by logging into your MyStark State account, clicking on the Academic Support tab, and selecting Writing Center. We look forward to supporting your academic success. Hello, welcome to Stark State College. I am here to talk to you about a service that Stark State offers to all of its students, a service that allows these students to achieve their goals. This service is a science learning center, a place where students can get assistance in any science course offered through the departments of biology, chemistry, and physics. By assistance, I mean anything involved with the course, be it homework, lab reports, preparing for exams and practicals, to general study habits, and most importantly, we give guidance in the form of encouragement. In essence, we get people through the classes. The service that the SLC offers are not only free, but they are hassle-free. We have in-person assistance available at both main campus and Akron campus, as well as online assistance through Blackboard. We are available over a wide range of hours, which will be posted on My Stark State. Now by hassle-free, I mean that there is no appointment necessary and there is no time constraint involved. You can stop in or log in for five minutes or for five hours. We realize that people have tight schedules and we want to make this as easy as possible for you. The important takeaway from this is that we are here to help you and we do a great job at it. We get people through their tough classes. The people who do take advantage of this service swear by it and we are glad that they did. I can't tell you how many times that I have been approached by somebody that I have helped either in the hallways here at Stark State or somewhere else entirely when they walk up to me with a big smile and say, hey, I made it through that physics class because of the SLC. Take advantage of the service and get a jump start. And just stop in the first week or so and meet us. We are friendly. Hi, Stephanie Flowers here, Gateway Advisor in the Gateway Student Services Center, your one-stop shop for admissions, exploring majors, developing an academic plan, registering for classes, applying for, understanding, and accepting your financial aid, as well as navigating college policies. In the Gateway Student Services Center, we can address any questions or concerns you may have with a referral to additional student support services where needed. Let us help you piece together your college success. We welcome you to Stark State. Hello again, I'm Sherry from the Office of Student Life and Recreation. 
There are many ways to get involved and connected at Stark State, from social to educational and recreational opportunities. You can join fellow students in pursuing an interest or a talent or just having fun. Stark State College offers more than 50 student clubs and organizations where you can network with others who share your interests from academic to social. You can also build your leadership skills and represent the voice of the student body by joining the Student Government Association. Did you know Stark State College offers a free leadership certificate for students? The Student Leadership Academy is designed to help you develop valuable skills your future employers are looking for, from communication to goal setting and presentation skills. If you want to build your resume, meet new people, and improve your leadership skills, then the Student Leadership Academy is for you. No previous leadership experience necessary. For more information, visit the Student Life page at starkstate.edu. We look forward to connecting with you and seeing you soon. So as you can see, there is a considerable amount of help available to you at Stark State College. And as I said in my presentation, if you think that your situation is unique and there's nobody there to help you, there probably is somebody there to help you because we have seen just about everything. Um, but the nice thing about doing what we do is that sometimes somebody brings us a problem that we haven't seen before. And uh, we're always ready to help um, students deal with whatever barriers, whatever situations and whatever concerns that you might have as you go along in your college career. Um, Elizabeth is here with me and she's going to ask some questions that uh, some of you are posting to the various uh, social media sites. Great, thanks Ben. This is our final chance to ask questions, so if your question hasn't been answered in the chat, please put it in there again. And I think the first question I'll have is, what about adding and dropping classes? Okay, so you can add and drop classes today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, and up to next week, up through next week. Um, it is important to remember, however, that you will need uh, your advisors uh, and your teachers, professors' permission to add or drop those classes. So keep that in mind if you are uh, thinking about doing that, and you have to do that within the first week um, because things move along very quickly, as we discussed earlier. Is it possible, Ben, for me to ask too many questions? Never. There are no too many questions. Uh, if you're asking too many questions, your instructor will probably say, hey, let's talk after class, right? Because um, we don't want to bogart an entire uh, uh, class. But uh, it's, there are really no, no bad questions, not too many questions, because uh, how are we going to get the answers if we don't ask the questions? And also, asking questions not only benefits you, but it benefits your instructor, it benefits your advisor, it benefits the person that you're working with because they are able to better understand you as a person and as a student. And the more relationships we build, the more questions we ask, the more successful we'll be as students at Stark State College. Okay, then we are getting some specific questions, so Excellent. let me know if I can help you. Um, what if I have a financial aid question? Like if I'm, if I'm receiving a loan, who should I ask about that? Financial aid. <laughs> How about that for an answer? That's a great one. Always go to financial aid because they are the experts. Uh, financial aid changes. It seems like it changes daily. And just when I think I understand it, I don't. So we've got Bridget and Scott and uh, I'm, I'm missing names. I'm sorry. But there's tons of people in financial aid who will always be able to help you with any answers and any questions that you have. So absolutely reach out to financial aid. Okay, and here's another really good one. I like this one. When I look at my classes, one class says the day and time is TBA. What do I do about that? That means online. That means it's an online class. TBA means uh, that it is an online class that you have to, you're gonna, every, right now with COVID, it's a little bit different. So it's every teacher sort of making, many teachers are making their own schedule and their own way to do it. So the most important the thing to do with a TBA class right now is to read the syllabus which your instructor will be able to tell you when you're meeting, when class is going to be, when you have to meet online, if you have to meet online. So in this case, it's really important to be looking at your syllabus to understand what that TBA actually means. Because in this time of COVID, instructors are, are really being flexible and being uh, creative in how their classes are going to meet. So read that syllabus and understand when you are expected to be in your class. Great question. If I have any questions about my parking pass, who should I contact? Uh, you should contact the security office. Right. The security office will be able to fill you in on whatever, on when you need, when you should get your parking pass and what you need to do to do that. Good and you'll question. be okay the first week or two. Sure. Um, 
yeah, nobody's going to be looking to, to get you in trouble in that first couple of weeks, trust me. But um, it, wait a couple of weeks and for sure have your marking passed by then. Um, then also, Ben, you mentioned all these good resources, and I know that you're the director of TRIO. Can you tell us what TRIO is? I am the director of TRIO, and in TRIO, we work with first generation college students, which means your parents didn't graduate from a four-year college. And myself and my staff will sit down with you and act as your advisors and your mentors and help drive your way through your career at Stark State College. And it really starts from the very beginning and we walk you through that process. And hopefully as you are in TRIO, you need us less and less because you get more used to being at Stark State College. But by all means, if you are a first generation college student, meaning your parents didn't graduate from college, you are eligible to be a part of the TRIO Student Support Services Program. And we absolutely are there to help you make it through college, to make it through Stark State, and to become um, successful students at this institution because everybody needs help. Everybody needs time and effort in order to make it through. So please contact us at Student Support Services. I think we've got a lot of the questions answered in chat. So I really think that if you have any questions, please reach out to um, many of the advisors and our Gateway Center, and we'll be happy to answer further questions all through the semester, not just here on chat. And it's important to understand that there's always help available for anything that you need. Um, and I, I said it in the beginning, and I'll say it again. We've not seen anything yet that hasn't been able to be dealt with one way or another. So I do want to encourage you to always ask questions, to always seek out the people that you feel like will help you get to those answers. And whether they're faculty or staff or somebody who works at the college, everybody is here willing and ready to help you make it through your time at Stark State College. And I want to welcome all of you to the, we call it the spring semester, even though it's January and dark and dreary and currently raining outside, it is indeed the spring semester at Stark State College. And I want to thank you for being here and joining us today for our Jumpstart 2021, right? Semester for the second semester. Hello, my name is Robert Wright, and I am a student here at Stark State College, where I have recently graduated with my degree in graphic design and currently finishing my degree in digital photography. I am also involved with a multimedia group here on campus, along with being a student worker in Stark State Student Life Department. My advice for new and returning students is to not be afraid of pursuing your goals in a changing world. Returning to college can be an overwhelming thing. We know that here at Stark State and we are here to help. You just need to take it day by day because taking your first class turns into finishing your first week, then your first semester, your first year, and before you know it, your first college degree. As long as you take it day by day, you'll reach your goals here at Stark State College. Hello, my name is Brody Yoder. Um, right now at school, I'm in school for accounting and taxation. So that's a major in accounting, minor in taxation. When I graduate, I'll have my associate's degree in accounting and a certificate for taxation. Um, right now at Stark State, I am the standing president of the IMA, which stands for Institute of Managerial Accountants. Um, and other than that, um, the reason why I chose Stark State is because it's very small. Um, everybody gets to know each other very quickly um, and you can have interpersonal connections with your professors. So it's not like they're just speaking in front of like 200 kids or something. And every class they get to know you, they know how you do work and how what, what best fits you. Um, and they can work on a more of an individual level. Um, other than that, the students are very, very welcoming at all. It's like no one just, if you say hi to somebody, somebody's gonna say hi back to you. And it's more of a community and more of a family. I would strongly urge you guys to get in type of some type of group. Like me, I'm in the IMA. Um, like I said, Institute of Managerial Accounting. And it's basically just a group of all the accounting and all the business majors collab together. And all we do is talk about things. We do go on trips. Um, and just to help our community as the business side. Um, other groups, they, they just work on your personal levels. What's your personality? There are groups for that. There are groups for your business, for your major, whatever that may be. But it allows you to give you a sense of what am I supposed to be doing? Do I need help with other classes? If, if a professor is you know, crowded up one day, you still have other students say, hey, can I have help with homework? Or hey, can you want to meet up after school? So Stark State does a really perfect job at doing that as opposed to bigger college, colleges. So that's why I chose Stark State. 
Hi, Stark State students, and welcome to the Stark State community. My name is Natalie, and I'm a recent graduate of Stark State. Um, I graduated last December with my degree in psychology. Uh, during my time at Stark State, I was involved in a lot of different things. Um, I was the vice president of student government, uh, as well as the food pantry coordinator for Psi Beta Honor Society. Uh, I was also involved in Phi Theta Kappa, as well as Student Advisory Council. Uh, so my advice for you guys is just to definitely get involved. Uh, that's the main thing, um, as well as definitely go to class. Uh, attending your classes is super important. And the last thing is getting involved in discussions in the classroom. I think like talking to your teachers and your classmates, asking questions will really make all the difference in your future. Welcome to Stark State College. I'm Dr. Leda Gibson Shreve, Provost and Chief Academic Officer. Thank you for choosing Stark State as your college. I hope that you've enjoyed your Jumpstart virtual experience. It's designed to provide you with information and strategies to assist with a successful first semester and future semesters. If you experience challenges at any point, please reach out to one of us so that we can assist you. We are here to help you achieve your career goals. No one makes it through life without the assistance of others. So please know that we are here to help you. As you conclude your day and think about your future, imagine that it is approximately two years from now. We are past the COVID pandemic concerns and you are sitting at the Canton Civic Center wearing a graduation gown. Now imagine being asked to turn your tassel from right to left. Please keep that image and your career goal in mind each time that you experience a struggle in your life. Don't lose sight of your goals, and I look forward to seeing you at a future graduation.